Hello friends, welcome to the video series of Diabetes Prediction System. In these six videos, we will step by step build this project on diabetes prediction using Django. In this first video, we will discuss what are the requirements of the project and we will have a look over the final project that we are going to build at the end of these six videos. So let's get started. Now talking about the software requirements, you basically need these four things. First one is Python interpreter. Second one is Anaconda distribution. Now this is an optional one. You can skip this also. Third one is an IDE. You can use any IDE of your choice. But here I will be using PyCharm. And the last you need a web browser. Here also you can use any web browser of your choice. But I will be using Google Chrome. Moving ahead to data. This is a glimpse of data that we are going to use to train our machine learning model. It basically contains eight independent columns that are pregnancies, glucose, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI, diabetes pedigree function and age. Now based on the values of these eight independent columns, we will predict the value of the column outcome. Now this numerical uh, value 1 in the column outcome indicates that the person is having diabetes whereas the numerical value 0 indicates that the person is perfectly fine. Now we will be using the values of these 8 columns to train our machine learning model that is logistic regression. Also the link to download this data is provided below in the description. You can download the data from there. Moving ahead to Python libraries and framework. We will be using 3 Python libraries in the project that are numpy, pandas and sklearn and we need a python web framework to build the website that is we need django in case you have not downloaded these libraries and framework you can get help from the link that is given below in the, in the description on how to download them now after discussing all the requirements of the project now i would like to show you the final website that we are going to build so here it is, I have opened the website on my local host and this is the home page of the website. I have not added much tags to the home page of this website. It just contains a label over here and a button which says let's get started. Now once I click on this button, it will redirect me to an another page. So let's do it. So here you can see that we have moved on to another page whose name is predict. Here you can see that there are multiple columns which correspond to the independent variables that I've shown you in the data. At the bottom you can see there is a submit button. Now once I click on this button it will show me the result in front of this result tag. In case the person would be having diabetes it will show a positive over here otherwise it will show a negative. So let's try this with the help of an example. So this is the data that I have used for the training. You can see that there are total 769 rows here. Now let's randomly check the working of our model on any, any one of the row. Let's try it on 749th row. Now I will add the values of these columns in that website and then we'll see whether it is giving us the correct results or not. So let's do it. So it's the number of pregnancies here are 1. Then glucose level is 81. Next 7441. It's 74, then 41, mm, then it's 57 and 46.3, then it is 1.096, and the value of age here is 32. Okay, now in this data, we can see that this person is not having diabetes. So our result should be negative over there. So let's check what it gives. Yes, so the results are negative here. So let's try this again on another example. Now let's try on this fourth row. Okay, I'll enter the values again. It's 8, then 183, then 64 next 0 then 0 the value of BMI is 23.3 
then it is 0 0.672 and the value of age is uh, okay 32 now as per this data we can see that this person is having diabetes because the value of the outcome column here is 1 so let's check what our model predicts okay so here you can see that the result is positive hence we can see that our website is working perfectly fine so in the upcoming five videos we will step by step build this website we will start by training our logistic regression model and then we will move on to building the website.